Question number 81. What about property taxes? Are they dischargeable? Well, property taxes are only dischargeable if they became due more than a year before you filed for bankruptcy. This is also somewhat misleading because a discharge of your personal liability does not really solve the problem. The property taxes are still a lien on the property and must be paid upon the transfer. If you don't pay your property taxes in places like Florida, for example, you can lose your property if someone else pays those taxes and obtains a tax deed. <coughs> Question 82. I own, <coughs> excuse me. I own a small business and I owe payroll taxes. Am I individually liable and can I discharge that liability? Well, as the owner and person who controls the finances of the company, you are personally liable to pay the payroll taxes. Payroll taxes can never be discharged. Question 83. My house has been in foreclosure and I owe money to the homeowners association. Since I'm giving the house back to the bank, can I discharge the homeowners association fees? Well, any of those fees that arise after the filing of your bankruptcy petition cannot be discharged. Those arising before you file are dischargeable. This means that if the foreclosure has not been completed and the property is still in your name, new fees could be your responsibility. Question 84. Instead of just taking money out of my 401k, I borrowed from the 401k. Can I discharge that debt? No, any money you borrowed from your 401k or other tax deferred plan cannot be discharged in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Question 85. My son was in a car accident and someone else was hurt and is now suing him. He was arrested for being intoxicated. Can he discharge this debt? Debts for personal injury to another person are not dischargeable in bankruptcy if you were intoxicated at the time of the accident. Debts for property damage arising from the same facts are different and can be discharged. Question number 86. When I borrowed money to buy real estate, my income was misstated on my loan application. Can I still discharge this debt? The answer to that is that a creditor can object to the discharge of a debt if they believe that you have misstated your financial condition when you applied for the loan. The creditor would have to file an adversary proceeding, which is simply a lawsuit within the bankruptcy. A bankruptcy judge would decide if you defrauded your lender. Question 87. There's a lot of information needed for the schedules can I just file my petition and file the schedules later? Well, yes, you can, but you only have 14 days to file the schedules after you file the petition. And if you don't file them, your case will be dismissed. That time runs faster than you can imagine, and there's a lot of detail and information that goes into the schedules. And if you don't file them within that 14 days, your petition will be dismissed. You don't want your case dismissed, for failing to take some required action or other reasons because you cannot refile your case for 180 days or six months. And then when you do refile, your automatic stay is reduced to only 30 days. So creditors can start bothering you before you're discharged. Question number 88. What happens if I finish the pre-filing credit counseling course but don't complete the financial management course. Well, you must complete the required personal financial management course within 45 days after your creditor's meeting. If you don't take the course or you take the course and don't file the certificate proving that you took the course, your case will be dismissed. Question number 89. Are there any exceptions to the means test? Well, yes, if you're a disabled veteran, for example, and the debts you incurred happened while you were on active duty, you would not need to take the means test and you would automatically qualify for filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. 
Question number 90. Is that the only exception to the means test? The means test only applies if the majority of your debts are consumer debts. If more than 50% of your debts are a result of the failure of a business, for example, the means test would not apply and you would qualify for Chapter 7.